This Health Ranger Report pandemic podcast is brought to you by naturalnews.com for uncensored reporting and healthrangerstore.com for lab tested preparedness supplies such as storable food, full face medical masks, biostructured silver first aid gel, and iodine only while supplies last. As I was walking with my donkeys in the country, in central Texas, I, I got to thinking that, you know, we are so blessed because I have more, more freedom, more uh, open country, more water, more food, everything than the wealthiest billionaire in New York City. And this podcast isn't about me in particular. It's, it's about the changing values that this pandemic has suddenly brought about because what is money worth now if you're locked in an apartment in New York City? A luxury apartment that's costing you, I don't know, $25,000 a month, let's say, in overhead, which is not un unreasonable in New York City for some of these hedge fund managers. They'll pay twenty five dollars a month for an apartment or more, actually. And But what kind of wealth is that if you're stuck in a building in a city? You're not even allowed to go out to Central Park. You've got no access to, to food and water. You've got no ability to, to walk around free. You're stuck in a city with all this money that's becoming increasingly worthless because the Fed is printing more money, more bailout money, and they're bailing everybody out with all this new money, which is going to, of course, reduce the value of the money. So even all these billions that these people have, these hedge fund managers and so on, or these corporate CEOs that are sitting on $500 million in assets, what is it really worth? And the answer is not that much. Not that much. This is Mike Adams here. This is for Pandemic.News, and it's Sunday, March 29th. And we're seeing a shift. Maybe you could call it a spiritual shift or a shift in values. But things that people thought were really valuable before are now coming to be understood as worthless, such as having a luxury apartment in New York City. Whereas things that people thought had no value before, like, oh, a, a ranch in rural Texas that a lot of city people before thought, ah, oh, who wants to live out in the country with the, with the animals and the chickens and the goats? Suddenly that looks pretty darn good to a lot of people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Suddenly everybody's looking at the world differently. Suddenly the value of collecting your own rainwater, for example, and being able to drink rainwater that's filtered, of course, but you're not relying on the city to bring you water or being able to grow your own food, having areas to plant potatoes or, or areas to raise goats or raise chickens and having the knowledge of how to do that. Suddenly that's priceless. And having a tractor that runs on diesel and having a, a 500 gallon tank of diesel that's stored work. You know, diesel is work that's in a compressed form. You feed it into an engine and the engine does work. And if you have the right piece of land, you can turn diesel and a tractor into farmland that produces food. And yet a hedge fund doesn't produce anything, does it? A hedge fund is just part of this entire economy of paper pushers and people who are skimming off of the hard work of real people. And, and paper pushing doesn't produce anything. And a lot of people are suddenly coming to, to find that out. And the only paper they wish they had more of is toilet paper. Talk about paper pushing. Pretty soon people will be using dollar bills for toilet paper, given where the, uh, the value of the dollar is going. Here's something else. What's the value of having a fully functioning immune system? What's the value of being off all prescription drugs? Hmm? Because what's the cost? of being on high blood pressure drugs that are now linked to a vastly increased risk of death from coronavirus, what's the cost of that? It's very high, it could cost you your life. What's the value of not having high blood pressure? What's the value of not having diabetes? What's the value of not having asthma, for example? That value is suddenly very, very high. It used to be that people would say, well, it's okay to have diabetes, I'm just, I'm just gonna eat this ice cream and eat these donuts and then we will control the blood sugar with insulin because we'll always have insulin. Or we'll always have all these drugs and pharmaceuticals because it's a steady supply. All of a sudden, there's no supply of some drugs. All of a sudden, China's shut down. 
supply lines are cratering, sure would be a good time to not be dependent on prescription chemicals to keep yourself functioning, physiologically speaking. So what's the value of, of not needing any prescription drugs? What's the value of good health? All of a sudden, that is becoming incredibly obvious to people all over the country. What's the value of a bottle of zinc when there's no more zinc available on Amazon.com? Well, it's getting pretty high. I saw bottles of zinc that used to sell for like $7, and now they're on eBay for $35. Suddenly, zinc is, zinc is almost worth its weight in silver, and silver is almost worth its weight in gold. And gold is almost worth its weight in toilet paper. I mean, <laughs> everything's changed. And by the, it takes a lot of toilet paper to equal one gold bar because gold is really dense, you know? So <laughs> if you're storing, storing toilet paper as a store of wealth, you will need a big-ass warehouse. And it's highly flammable too. But everything's changing, you see? Everything, everything. You can lose all your toilet paper overnight one match. And your whole fortune just goes poof up in flames. Ah, you got charmed. Uh, yeah, there you go. By the way, as a side note, people who have run out of toilet paper in the cities, they're now tearing up old clothes and using them as wipes and flushing them down the toilets, causing the, the sewer maintenance people in places like New York City. Now they have to unclog these epic sewer clogs. People have been flushing the, their closets down, down the toilet, basically, which tells you the value of toilet paper, doesn't it? Like how, what kind of, what kind of fashion sense do you have to have to, to wipe your butt with the clothes you wore to a party a month ago before society collapsed? Well, that's, that's interesting. It also shows you the changing values, you know, and it, I guess people haven't figured out alternatives to toilet paper. You can make your own toilet paper out of paper, by the way, it's actually not that difficult, but anyway. Values are changing. Values are changing rapidly. And in the end, let me tell you where this is going, at least what I believe. See, dollars are going to become worthless. It may take years, but eventually the dollar will collapse. It will be a worthless currency. You'll be able to have a million dollars in your pocket as almost a gimmick. Oh, look, here's a million dollar bill. Just like Weimar Germany or Venezuela or Zimbabwe. You can have a million dollar bill and it won't even buy you a loaf of bread because the dollar is going to collapse. And so all the, think about all the lives that people lead where they're pursuing dollars, dollars that will become worthless. And if they don't trade those dollars for things that have real value, such as a ranch out in the country or gold and silver, which are impervious, they're indestructible basically because they're elements, or ammunition or firearms or knowledge of how to raise chickens, for example. Those are things that are real. Dollars are not real and dollars will vanish overnight. And yet people have pursued for their entire lives, just accumulating more and more dollars to stuff their pockets of their bank account with more and more dollars. It's a pursuit of nothing. People spend their whole lives pursuing nothing because in the end, the dollar is meaningless. It's worthless. Maybe it would be better to have some what we call spiritual currency to do something good for your soul, get closer to God, read the Bible, spend your life doing something good for society instead of just accumulating wealth for yourself since now you know that wealth can just vanish overnight and it will. And when it all vanishes, you will only be left with the physical things that you have, which is often the place where you live, and your spirit, your soul, your memories, your relationships, your family, the things that you can't put a dollar value on. And so in society, almost everybody in America has been chasing that which is ethereal, that, that which is not even real. And they've been ignoring the things that really matter. When everything else collapses, what is left? You are left. You are left living with yourself with your decisions, your actions, the lifetime of what you have done, either in service of others or in service of greed, if that has been your pathway. And wouldn't it be much better that at the end of all this, when everything else is gone and you are there living with yourself or facing your life 
on judgment day for you, wouldn't it be better to be able to look back with a smile to say that I did something for humanity. I did something to make this world a better place. I did something to protect life, to spread love, to uplift humans, to have knowledge, to enhance consciousness. I did these things. The dollars didn't matter. The dollars come and go. The, 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 the paper currency, the fiat currency, all that garbage comes and goes. What you're left with in the end is what you can take with you, what stays with your soul, your spiritual record, that ledger of your life, of your morality, your ethics. That's what you live with. That's what you die with. And that goes with you beyond this life. And so that's why so much of what I do doesn't fit in this world because we live in a world of greed and a world of deception. And I've dedicated my life to telling the truth and protecting life and uplifting people, even if it goes against the grain of everything else in this twisted fake society. I refuse to be part of this fake society because I'm dedicated to truth and dedicated to really a, a pro-human spiritual endeavor of uplifting people, awakening people, and, and helping, this, helping the people of this world make this a better place for future generations. And if you're sharing that experience with me and others like us, then you are going to do well no matter what happens in this world, no matter what happens to the stock market, no matter what, what happens with the coronavirus, no matter what happens to the dollar, you are wealthy in spirit and soul and in who you are as an individual. You have unlimited wealth in the person that you create and who you become and who you are as you move through this world and as you leave this world. That's what matters. Everything else is fake. So thank you for sharing this journey with me. Thank you for all your support as we move through this world together. This is Mike Adams here, The Health Ranger. Pandemic.news is the website. And you can hear more podcasts at brighteon.com. Thank you for listening. When it comes to prepping, you not only need good products that can help keep you alive, awake, aware, and nourished during difficult times, you also need products you can trust. At the Health Ranger store, we do extensive laboratory testing using an in-house lab that's ISO accredited. It's inspected, it's audited. It's a two-year process to even get that accreditation. We use multiple mass spec instruments, state-of-the-art science. I'm a published science author as well and a patent holder on several technologies, some of which we use variations of in our lab. The purpose of this lab is to help you make sure you get clean, foods, superfoods, storable foods for emergency preparedness and survival use. We have a certified organic lab tested, what's called Ranger Bucket collection of storable foods with some survival gear in the buckets to help you even boil water and cook those foods and so on. It's a, a fantastic product. We can barely keep it in stock even during normal times. In a crisis, we'll be wiped out of this product because it actually takes us a lot of time to make those products. But if they're in stock, you can get them now at healthrangerstore.com slash prepwithmike. In fact, go to that URL, healthrangerstore.com slash prepwithmike, and you'll see some of our survival and preparedness supplies, including iodine, colloidal silver products, and gel first aid products, storable foods, superfoods, medicinal herbs for first aid, and much more. We have a lot of products for you to help you be self-reliant, to be safe, to survive difficult circumstances, natural disasters, and all kinds of things. If you want to get prepared, do it with us at the Health Ranger store so that you know you're getting safe, clean, laboratory verified preparedness foods, supplements, and other related products. Again, the URL is healthrangerstore.com forward slash prep with Mike. All one word, no spaces. Prep with Mike. I'm Mike Adams. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.